Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your matplotlib graphs look a little prettier. So let's get started. <music> Alright, so as you see over here, I have all the code that we need to get started. So the first thing that we're going to run is pip install matplotlib. And that just installs matplotlib for us. And below that, it's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And that's what we actually use to graph our graphs. And we have this percent sign matplotlib inline. And that just makes sure that our graphs don't show up in, uh, in new tabs or as pop-ups. It just shows up as a result, kind of like this. All right, so let's get started. So first, I'm just going to make a list. I'll call this L1, and I'll just set it equal to some numbers. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 7, 9, 8. So I have those numbers. So let's plot this. So in order to plot this, we have to do plt dot plot l1 and let's run this and here you see we have our graph so that's pretty cool but it's kind of unclear what these numbers mean to someone who hasn't made this graph so that's why we want to add axis labels and this is how you add axis labels first let me just add a semicolon here so we don't get this output we just get the graph and now below that let me do plt dot x label years so the x is years since 2000 and now let's do plt dot y label amount of dollars in my bank account all right so let's run this and we get an error so we can actually use this sign. So if we want to use it, we have to do backslashes before it. And that is what is called an escape sequence. And it tells Python, these don't mean anything, it's just normal text. And we still get this. Well, in order to avoid that, all we have to do is remove the semicolon there and just put the semicolon in the last line of code that has PLT in it. So let's run this and now our graph has titles. Let's add a title and a legend. So PLT.title and let's just make the title amount of dollars in my bank account over years. And now let's add a legend so plt dot legend account value all right so let's run this and see look now we have a title and a legend and now our graph is starting to look a little more professional well let's say you're having some trouble seeing like which point on the line corresponds to what year so in order to do that all we have to do is go to the first plt.plot and put comma and then do marker equals do quotes and then just add a marker so i'll do that so let's run this and now you see we have these markers but i think i want to replace that with x so let me do that and as you see the lines have now been replaced by x's well you see this blue color is kind of boring and plain, and I don't know, I'm not really loving it. So let me change it to another color. So in order to change it, I have to return back to this plt.plot over here. And after this, let me put a comma. And now let me do c equals line. And I'll actually put a link to all the colors that you can use in the description below. So check that out. And boom, you know, our graph just looks so much better. It looks so much better than before. And if we want to compare, let's look at this. P 
plt dot plot l1 just just look at the comparison this one looks so much better than this one all right well thanks for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time peace